Hey guys, it's Liko. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing an Alcrate box. Yay, Alcrate! The theme for this month is Rise from the Ashes. This is the spoiler card. I am not going to be looking at this card quite yet. I want to be able to see the items that we have first and see if we can figure it out. First thing I see is this really cute decorative pillow. It's like the size of a square and not an actual like pillow pillow that you would see like um, on your bed. And I'm going to do it like this because I don't have my tripod set up today. But I'm going to try and read this upside down. As long as there is life, there is hope and it's from Ember in the Ashes. And it's really, really pretty, and I think it would look awesome on my couch. This little guy is so cute. He is a planter, and you kind of just like put these in your windowsill and like put like little plants in, like little cactus or herbs or something. But this, he's so cute. What should we name him? Put a suggestion in the comments down below. We'll see, we'll see what we're gonna call him. Oh my gosh, so we have, a wax seal kit you know like for those letters from a long time ago where they would just melt the wax and then push the stamp down on the letter to seal it with their own special seal so you would know who it came from so we got like the stick of wax in here right there and it says to melt that with a controlled flame source and then when you have melted it you stick this little guy looks like it's a book with a heart on it and you seal it and there you go now i just need like one of those glass pens with ink that you see floating around on facebook i need those they're gorgeous and we got our pen for the month and we got a sticker of dumbledore so this is the same artist that did the um alice sticker that we got a few months back and then the hagrid one and we have a postcard it says i know better than to be afraid of stories this i might do with my kids it's wishing bracelets you roll them string them and wear them so i guess those little things right here are um papers that you roll into wishes and then you wear them on your wrist that is really interesting this book is freaking gorgeous look at this that's amazing it's girls of paper and fire wow oh my god there's a map in here we're gonna undress this book this is the book in its naked form which is still really pretty check out this map it's blue look at it i love maps i'm going to read the synopsis for you is of the paper cast the lowest class in Nikara. okay even so rumors of her golden eyes have piqued the king's interest and so she is ripped from her home and taken to the opulent palace a gilded prison her life now beholden to the demon king's every whim but as lay dreams of escape is it lay or lee hmm. she does the unthinkable she falls in love her her forbidden romance enmeshed with an explosive plot that threatens the king's very reign will force lay to decide just how far she's willing to go to fight for her freedom lush poetic and utterly unforgettable girls the paper and fire is an extraordinary tale reminding us that pure love and passion can transcend even the bleakest of fates girls the paper and fire sticker we and we have the note from the author sometimes i have a hard time reading handwriting but i'm going to give it my best shot to read this Dear Alcrate Reader, what authors say is true. Every book you write contains a little part of you. As my third novel, I thought Girls of Paper and Fire would be like the others I'd written before, that there'd be aspects of what I know and think and feel and love and dream of scattered here and there throughout the pages, moments of myself captured in words, a time capsule of the person I was at the time of writing it. But what I discovered with Girls was so much more. It took all the beautiful and broken parts of me and held them out in the hands telling me look don't be afraid the funny thing is i had no idea when i started writing girls just how important it would be for me i wanted to write a fantasy world inspired by my chinese malaysian heritage one that resembled the imagination of, of my multicultural upbringing created i knew it would be a love story between two girls and that they would be concubines <laughs> okay to a cruel king 
but I had no idea why. Now looking back over the book, I see just how much of my life is embedded within its pages. It really is my heart laid here in book form. Everything is represented. My, po my passions and hopes, my opinions and fears, my life experiences, both the terrible and wonderful. As often when speaking the truth, it hasn't been an easy process. And I know girls is not always easy reading, but I hope that when you read my words, you can feel the honesty, passion, and care that I shaped every page and that it might inspire you to be brave and speaking your own truths too. Don't be afraid. Love, Natasha. Then we have like the little reader, the like little booklet we get every month. Next month's theme is Power of Illusions for December. For the spoiler, every box will include an exclusive item from Ink and Wonder Designs. So they have done bookmarks in the past, so we may be getting another bookmark or we might be getting an art print of some kind. Nice, they have really good art. Thank you for watching my Alcray unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!